Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I am Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is Seth Geis and from the Pastani Studio, John McTavish. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Doing well. Thanks for asking. Nice. All right. So today we are talking about the JRE Aladino Fuminoche Super Toro. Uh, cigar is a Toro Extra six and a quarter by 54. Comes out of the Las Lomas factory in Honduras. Uh, binder wrapper, binder filler, all listed as Honduras. No further details other than that. Uh, price point is $16, and the cigar was released in April of 2024. Uh, so with all that out of the way, Seth, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? First third begins with this herbal soft mineral profile. There's some like cream and cedar, a um, little bit of white pepper, some tobacco, cocoa and coffee notes, medium strength and body. It really kind of had like that elegant Honduran quality, but it didn't smoke like a Honduran blend at all. Um, it, it was just really, it's kind of like this old school, elegant premium smoke uh, bits of coffee cocoa white pepper cream and cedar still medium in strength it, it was it was consistent throughout but just really enjoyable and rolled just nice burn nice draw so john uh well it sounds like we got a lot of the same notes in the first third start out uh, herbal earth wood finish a little bit of delayed tannins um, medium earth through the post draw and after a bit of a delay uh retro oil, sweet tobacco light plus spices and then as it kind of settled in there was a nice cinnamon uh component through the finish uh baking spices lingering between each puff uh and then you know sweet tobacco kind of joining the finish to round out that that post draw uh by about the halfway mark so Really nice first third. Uh, be hard pressed to play like Seth is in. Be hard pressed to point this as Honduran tobacco. Uh, unusual profile both for Honduran tobacco and for Aladino, um, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, second third uh, sweet tobacco uh, transitioning into wood. Wood on the finish um, as the profile kind of settled in. Uh, let off with tobacco, medium strength spices. Um, and then by the halfway point, I'd say kind of medium mice, uh, medium minus uh, flavor profile overall with a dry wood finish. Um, so nothing super stand out for me in the second third. And then last third, uh, wood started out with spices combining with the wood in the center and then tannic wood in the finish. And then the wood kind of moved up to medium and dominated the profile as it settled in. And then a loamy earth joined the post draw uh, at medium strength. And the last third kind of really fell apart for me. Um, burn was straight, no issues at all. I mean, there was some minor waviness in the last third, but uh, just nothing that required intervention. The draw was perfect, which is not really a surprise. Uh, great, great constructed cigars coming out of GRE, but uh, profile for me was maybe above average, slightly above average. Uh, Aaron, what about you? Yeah, for me, the cigar shot with toasted cedar, earth, black pepper, and light mustiness. Uh, second, third, saw a light creaminess join in, and then final third, saw the, the pepper and the earth mellow quite a bit, and the creaminess departed. Um, I thought the cigar had a nice flavor profile through the first two thirds. Uh, there was a lot of transitioning, but the flavor delivery was executed really well. Um, cigar ran as at a steam in that final third, which kind of may have been contributed to the tight draw. Um, it was it was pretty snug um, throughout the smoking experience. Cigar felt really heavy. I think just packed full of tobacco. Um, also had a little bit of wavy burn, and the cigar went out on me one, once as well. But um, another nice offering from JRE. Um, I'd like to see how it smokes with a better draw, but um, I'd be open to coming back to this and. Definitely be interested if this blend um, is offered in the Elegante Vitola uh, in the future. So I'm hoping that's um, something that they do. But um, yeah, it was a, it was a good cigar. Could have asked for a little bit better uh, construction, but otherwise, it's pretty good. All right, the score is from the top with Seth and I both gave it a six point three two. John gave it a six point one. How that six point three two match up for you, Seth? That sound quality just sounded really funky there for a second. No, yeah, um, yeah. it was weird. It was weird. I was like, oh man, am I watching this live on Facebook too? So no, listen, I, I really enjoyed it. It's a, it's a blend I'd come back to a lot. Um, it's something you can hand out really well to people. Um, I think it would be appreciated by, you know, a lot of smokers. Um, and it doesn't smoke anything like anything Aladino's done or really any Honduran thing, which is pretty, pretty funky about it. So it's a nice stick. They did a good job of making a, you know, kind of is this a special car this is is this like a yeah it's kind of like a limited release i guess you would say yeah 
it's yeah it's yeah. uh i mean in the it's a good price too so yeah yeah uh yeah my six three two matches up well um good flavor profile uh burn and draw were both good not not excellent but uh so kind of knocked it down a little bit so i'd like to smoke it with a better draw um just to kind of see how it fares um see if that maybe helps the, the last third out a bit but um like i said if the if the lancero comes out uh, i'm all in for trying it all right john 6.1 yeah i think it matches up well perfect construction above average flavor profile let's you get to 6.1 um for me this really uh this is wasn't something stand out for me for Jerry. Um, you know, the profile wasn't unpleasant, but it wasn't something remarkable that I'd want to return to. Um, like you said, I think I even put it in my, um, my notes is that, uh, I'd really be interested in trying this in different size. Cause I think, I think the size is just not the right size for this blend, or at least I hope it's not such this blend because it didn't really work for me. So, yeah. In my sample, they tried to pack as much tobacco as they could possibly fit that was fit in those molds, and it was just so. Oh, packed dude, it was. Tobacco. Yeah, it was. It a lot of tobacco. Yeah, I weighed. I weighed it at seven point seventeen point four grams. So yep, yeah, they weren't beast. skimping. Yep. yep. All right, wherever you're catching this video, be sure to like and subscribe. But check out the full written review on the website developmentpalace.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Hey, fuma noche.